Hey, what's up? This is Salad from Salad Bowl Gaming. I'm bringing you another video on the Magicka Dragonite. Um, if you seen my, if you saw my last video about the Dra Magicka Dragonite, this video is going to be completely different. Um, the gear is going to be completely different. The the CP and uh, the, the the skills are going to be the same uh, for the most part. Uh, really, is it going to be too much different? Um, Except for the back bar, the def defensive bar is going to be a healing staff instead of a Destro staff, but we'll go over that in a second. Uh, so let's just start with the gear. Uh, the gear is Seducer and Burning Spell Weave. Uh, you can see I have one piece. I actually have two pieces of Burning Spell Weave here in um, the five, five body pieces here. The reason I did that is because if you've ever farmed Burning Spell Weave, you know how hard it is to get the weapons. So what I did was I made the weapons uh, seducer, and I put two burning spell weave in here. So I have my burning spell weave is always on. You're always going to have a five piece burning spell weave at all times, which is good because um, you want that that damage. But then also um, here you want that magicka cost reduction. So when you're casting your, your attack abilities, which you're doing that primarily for the most part, um, if you if you have my playstyle, you want that 8% uh, Magicka ability reduction. You could substitute this out with a Worm if you have Worm. Um, you can use Worm, Burning Spell Weave. Uh, worm has 5%, but it gives it across the entire group. Uh, so if you run with groups or whatever, you can use that instead of uh, Seducer, which gives 8% to only yourself. Burning Spell Weave, I want that because it gives me, um, increases my spell damage by 579% for 8 seconds, every 12 seconds, um, but it also has a 20% chance to apply a burning status with all my flame abilities, which that's all my abilities. Um, and then I'm using Scoria for the, uh, for the basically the meteor that comes down. That's 12k uh, flame damage when it hits, and then 5.6k uh, flame damage to all enemies around that. That also is used um, for the burning spell weave, which is the 20%. So that could also give um, the the 20% chance of blind burn status. So also, if you notice, my shirt has the tri triglyph on it. Um, it's got the triglyph because my shirt and pants have that because it gives me my 24k health, 34k magicka, and 16k stamina. I sacrificed some stamina for some health, and I sacrificed some magicka for some health and stamina, um, but I, I think it was a very good um, trade in the end. Um, it allows me to break free and dodge roll more than the average magicka user, which stacks a crap ton of magicka. 34k has always been good for me. Um, I have 14k recovery, um, and then 45k or 45% crit chance because of the shadow boon that I have, and both of my burning spell weave. Well, this is div these are infused for the um, tri stat, but then this is both of these are divines, which gives me that 6.5% extra. So let's go over abilities quick. So abilities on my damage bar, burning embers, molten whip, eruption, stone giant, and flames of oblivion. Flames of oblivion has gotten me more um, killing blows than really any other ability has. Um, I cast that and it hits them for that one, but then also um, has a burning effect. It also gives me Major Prophecy and Major Savagery increasing, well, one or the other. The spell damage is really what I'm looking for. Um, or the spell crit, which increases it by 2191 um, when it's slotted. So on when I'm on that ability, it's definitely giving me that extra crit. So... Eruption, uh, I explained this in my last video, but if you didn't watch my last video, the last um, eruption, look how far out eruption goes. It goes way out there. So if somebody's trying to get away, this also s this slows mist form. This, sp this pulls people out of hiding. Um, it does a lot. It's more of a utility, but it also 
has gotten me killing blows as well with people getting away people trying to get away i cast that slows them but also does 5k damage um i just i like it as more of a utility than anything so the back bar my defensive bar has harness magicka because again with them getting rid of with zas getting rid of the reduced magicka cost i need some more magicka so i throw up my highest harness magicka um that it gives me back uh, magicka restores 10 21 magicka every time you absorb a ability and then each piece of light armor worn increases magicka restored by six percent um that's because i'm wearing six it actually restores it by one percent but i'm wearing six pieces so um dragon fire scale this was for me this is a must I love this. I love my wings, my flappies. Uh, it returns everything, but it also adds damage to it as it returns it. Um, healing Ward, this is a new one because they're getting rid of Major Mending, so I'm using a Resto Staff on the back bar with Healing Ward in order for me to, to get a little extra healing, a little bit more defense, um, because it heals while it defend gives me that damage shield. And then obviously I've got Talons. Um, this one is interchangeable. Depending on how I'm playing, I'm going to interchange it with um, Fossilize. Normally run Fossilize, that was when I was using, doing group play in the sewers, I was running the Talons. And then obviously Coagulating Blood. On this bar I have my Ferocious Leap because it does fire damage and I want that um, Burning Spell Weave to give it that 20%. Um, and then this back bar is a standard. CP. So this obviously isn't the changed CP uh, yet, but let's start right here with tower. Um, I don't know why I started there. I don't have anything in that. 150. So Arcanist, uh, Magicka Recovery, 20%, and then 50 in Tenacity. I will probably end up removing some of these out of here because this is going to change. Um, they're going to make it their front loaded. So you're going to have uh, at 60. Um, it's going to be or at 50, you're going to have 75% of what that ability or that passive does. So there's no point in putting anything more than 50 in. So I'll, I'm probably going to reduce this, reduce this down to 50 and put it somewhere else. Tumbling, I have 50. Oh, I know where I'm going to put it. That's the reason. So this is actually turning into, they're separating this, tumbling. This is just going to be roll dodge, and this is going to turn into the break free. Um, so... I'm actually going to take 50 out of here and put it here, so then that way I can use that as well. Um, and then I have 100 Spell Erosions, 100 Elemental Expert. Completely forgot. And then 60 in all of these. These won't change. That's going to stay that way. And then 20 in Bastion. So this build should withstand uh, the Morrowind patch. I took, I don't know if you noticed, um, in the CP, but I took out, um, is it Elfborn? No, where's it at? It's in the recovery one. Magician. So Magician reduces the magic it cost. I, I don't put anything in that because there's no point, they're getting rid of it. So I got, so I got rid of it so I can get used to it. Um, so, yeah, this, this build should withstand the Morrowind update. Um, I don't see why it wouldn't. The only, actually, I, I really can't see why it wouldn't. Um, the other thing I might switch out is I might make this a heavy Scoria. I have a heavy Scoria. Um, I don't know if it's Divines, though. I have to check that so I can have two-piece heavy. Um, but that's my new Magicka build. Um, if you have any questions and need to know anything, let me know. I'm in game, PCNA, uh, Salad Bowl is my username. So just hit me up if you need anything. Um, if you have any questions, comments, let me know down below. Like, subscribe. There'll be more videos to come, especially after Morrowind comes out.